Jesse, so Ray, your your partner here, colleague, comrade, she, she got uh, you know seen the, the protests in Greece and Europe elsewhere. Did you guys take your cue from that? Are you hoping to incite, you know, certainly what was a lot of attention, if not uh, police activity? I know over the weekend there was over a hundred arrests, and you guys got things fired up. Are you taking your cues from the international movement? In how do you want to see this? In? What do you what do you if you could have it in? In a perfect way, how would it be? Well, I don't know. It's really difficult to kind of answer questions leading to those conclusions. I'd say that we didn't take our cue off of anybody, really. It became a more spontaneous movement. As far as seeing this end, I wouldn't like to see it end. I'd like to see the conversation continue. This is what we should have been talking about after 2008 when the economy collapsed. We basically patched a hole on the tire and said, yeah, let the car keep rolling. Unfortunately, it's fun to talk to the uh, propaganda machine in the media, especially conservative leading networks such as yourself, because we find that we can't get conversations on the Department of Justice's ongoing investigation of News Corporation, for which you are an employee, but we can certainly ask questions like, you know, why are the poor engaging in class warfare? Now, after 30 years of having our living standards decrease while the wealthiest 1% have had it better than ever, I think it's time for maybe, I don't know, some participation in our democracy that isn't funded by news cameras and gentlemen such as yourself. Okay, but let me, let me give you this challenge, Jesse. Sure. We're here giving you an opportunity on the uh, on the record with Credit Ancestry to put any message you want out there, give you fair coverage, and I'm not going to in any way That's awesome. be biased about it. So, there is an exception to the case because you wouldn't be able to get your message out without us, yes? No, certainly. I mean, take without for instance us. when Glenn Beck was doing his protest and he called the president a person who hates white people and white culture. That was a low moment in American's history and you guys kind of had a big part in it. So I'm glad to see you coming around and kind of paying attention with the other 99% of Americans are paying attention to, as opposed to the far right fringe who would love to just destroy the middle class entirely. All right, fair enough. You have a, a voice and an important reason to, to criticize myself, my company, and anyone else. But let me ask you this. In fairness, does this administration, President Obama, have any criticism as to the, the financial situation in the country? I think myself, uh, as well as many other people, would like to see a little bit more economic justice or social justice, Jesus stuff, as far as feeding the poor, health care for the sick. You know, I find it really entertaining that people like to hold the Bill of Rights up while they're screaming at gay soldiers. But they just can't wrap their heads around the idea that a for-profit health care system doesn't work. So let's just look at it like this. If we want the president to do more, let's talk to him on a level that actually reaches people. Instead of asking for his birth certificate and wasting time with total nonsense like cilantro.